Warzone is here, guys. I am hype. Hope you guys are hyped as well. I've been waiting for this game to come out since Modern Warfare was actually released. That Gaming My Revolution said that there will be a Modern Warfare Battle Royale. It's finally here. I'll be posting a lot of content on it. And uh, now I'm kind of doing a... I'm, I'm basically narrating my thought process. I'm showing you guys what I'm thinking. It's not a live commentary. I don't know. It's something different. And maybe you guys would like it. Not many people do it. I saw one guy do it though. It seemed pretty fun. Narrating and showing you guys uh, thinking. Showing you guys what he's thinking. So... I'm basically guiding you through the game, so. I mean, if you guys like it, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever the hell you want. In fact, don't do it at all if that's what you're all about. <laughs> but, um, I've been posting a lot of leaks and rumors and Warzone content on my Instagram, intellect underscore cod, if you guys want to go check that one out. But, um, I mean, Warzone's a fun game, and I like it, and it's just, it's a really nice change of pace, because before I've been playing Blackout a lot, and now it's new Battle Royale, free to play, and it's something fresh, and I'm loving it, so. Now I'm in the Gulag. Now the thing is, my trick for the Gulag is to push, push, push. Rushing for me always works. I'm on like a 6 or 7 win streak, because the enemy does not expect you pushing, right? They think you're going to be a little bit more cautious, because it's a 1v1. So for me, rushing always works. I find the guy, I finish him off with the Origin 12 semi-auto shoddy. And um, I'm dropping back in from the Gulag. I like that system, uh, the respawn system. So you either have a chance in the Gulag, or your teammates can uh, buy you back into the game. So it's, uh, it's a very fun, it's a very nice mechanism. And yeah, I think it brings a lot to the game. It's very fun. And now I'm dropping into a building. I have my M13. The thing is, the looting system is very bad in this game. All you're finding are MG34s and SCARs. The loot distribution is not good at all. But remember, it's in beta stage, so they're going to be fixing a lot of things. And on top of that, I don't like the system where if you down someone and your teammate finishes them off, they get the kill. So they'll be fixing that, don't worry. Well, they'll also be adding 4-player and 5-player squads, so that'll be pretty interesting. Anyways, I see a chopper landing on the roof of the building. I start shooting at it. It doesn't do much though. I mean, it's an M13. What do you expect? It's also an AR, so it's not going to do uh, much damage against that chopper. Luckily though, I find an RPG. That's pretty funny. It's a funny little uh, coincidence. Perfect timing. I try to blow it up, see if I can see if there's someone in the chopper. The chopper is destroyed, but obviously I don't get the kill. No one was in it. So I, su I suspect they're in the building, right? Because they, they landed on the roof. There's a little opening. So they probably went into the building somewhere. So I got my powerful shoddy. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Shoddies are pretty good in this game, especially the R90. It's a very, very good semi-auto, very powerful. But this one's not bad as well. I get shot. He's camping there in the corner in the dark. I could not see him at all. I throw my stun. I try shooting him. He moves out the second I shoot. He is low. He's like one shot. And I finish him off. So that was pretty nice. I like the shot. It's not too bad. I find a purple FRS. FRS is kind of nasty. Though. It does so much damage. In multiplayer, it's like, what, a three shot kill? So in Warzone, it does pretty well as well. So I find a blue shot this time. Very nice. Right now. And I uh, decide to go down the stairs of the building and see what's up. Okay. Actually, no. I go up the ladder first. And I find a golden supply box. Look at that. I find two weapons. A golden AK and a purple foul. What a nice legendary drop. My teammate gets knocked downstairs in the building. And I couldn't go for the revive because he was already dead. My teammate downstairs there gets knocked. So I decide to, because I'm not going to push. I mean, this is close range and I have an AK. So I see some movement down there. I decide to just camp at the stairs. I'm not a camper. It's just that, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be smart here. I don't have a close range weapon. So it doesn't make any sense for me to go push, right? So I decide to go back up the ladder just to see maybe if there's people outside. And I do have a long range weapon. So I see a light there, a sniper shooting at me. I try to shoot him with the foul. I break his armor. But I'm low though. There's like two guys shooting. I only have one armor plate left. So I'm kind of screwed. My teammate drops down. 
reloading my weapon. I get back up, try shooting back, but there's the three guys there, so I'm kind of screwed. I don't have any plates. I decide not to shoot. My teammate gets knocked upstairs come down, there. Come down, come down. I revive him. It's kind of a little glitch there. He's, uh, his foot is it's just floating on the opening. And uh, we decide to go downstairs because we hear some footsteps and they're probably going to come towards us. So we decide to go down there. We're probably going to rack up a little bit of kills. And uh, my teammate gets instantly knocked. So I'm saying, well, I really shouldn't push. I mean, I got a Nikki 47. doesn't really make any sense. But my teammate has a uh, SMG, I think. So he gets knocked. And uh, I decided to shoot him just a little bit so I can get him weak. But I don't want to steal the kill though because, as I said before, you can down someone, but the person who finishes him off gets the kill. So it's kind of, it's kind of a broken system. So uh, we got those kills there. I end up picking up a Dragonov because I don't know it's a one shot kill. It's pretty good. So. We're doing pretty good so far. We're doing all right. We're moving through the map tactically as a team. It's pretty nice. I find a loadout drop. Now, lucky for me because there's a class setup that I love using. It's the Growl 556 and the HDR. The HDR is rocking a thermal scope because that's the best scope for any sniper rifle. It's also rocking a suppressor so it doesn't show up on the mini map. Thing is with HDR, it's the most powerful sniper. It has the most damage and it has the best range as well. Mixed with the thermal scope, it's a perfect and deadly combo. And the Growl 5F6 is just a, an amazing gun. It has a very good fire rate, very low recoil, and it has pretty high damage. So I love using the Growl 5F6 with basically any sniper in the game. There's some shots. My teammate is shooting towards those buildings. And um, we're going to decide to push because, well, we want kills. Why not? We're moving through. I have a heartbeat sensor, this, so that's good as well. I asked for plates because, well, I don't have any. And, well, he probably doesn't have any as well, so. The circle's closing in. We're pushing some people. We're playing tactically as a tactical and experienced fighter team. I don't know what the hell I just said, but um, he starts shooting. He gets into a little battle. I decide I'm going to flank left because that's what a tactical player does. And I knock him. I thought he was just knocked. I didn't I, I didn't know I actually killed him, so I decided to take a couple shots. The thing is, though, unfortunately, they did not have any armor plates, so I'm still pretty low. And when you don't have armor in this game, you're screwed. You really are, so you really need those plates. Now, my teammate gets into another fight. He starts shooting. He knocks one of them. Actually, no, they were just, that person was knocked off the bat. I'm not sure. Anyways, I try to take shots just so I can get them a little low. There's some shots in that building complex. I try to throw a frag, see if I can kill them. I take out my heartbeat sensor, and that was not very good. I try shooting them. I break his armor. Don't know how I don't kill them. And, well, I couldn't really do anything there. I mean, he had an SMG. He just obliterated me. He respawns me from his supply station, so that's a very nice. That's very nice of him. And uh, we have a loadout drop in coming, so that's very good because I love using that Growl 5.56 HDR setup. And um, we're in forests, and uh, I'm gonna tease you guys. I'm gonna tease you a little upcoming action with the HDR. I'm gonna do some some pretty nice snipes. And um, I see two guys there. I call it out. I take my thermal scope, bam! Shoot him in the chest, he's not dead. He peeks again, very stupid move, I miss by like 2 inches. He peeks again, very stupid move, I down him. Third time is a charm. I try fragging him to see if I can finish the kill. I do a very stupid thing, I try and finish him off. Well, I do finish him off with my weapon, but I don't have any ammo, so that was a very stupid decision. My teammate gets knocked. And uh, the enemy finishes him because they're very thirsty. I have four bullets left in my HDR and I make them count. He's hiding behind the tree. Can I shoot his arm? Yes, I can. His arm is broken. He runs away like a little chicken. I shoot him right in the back. So 
end up getting a couple kills there. I end up getting some money, some armor plates, so I can eventually respawn my teammate. Which I do, and then we end up moving through the map as a tactical I'm getting, I'm getting squad. It. Remember, tactical is the way to go. Now we decide to drive in a little buggy car, 4x4 type of thing, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're in the storm. We're on the edge of the circle. We're not in the storm. We're on the edge of the storm in the circle. And uh, we decide to go all the way to the top because, well, we have snipers. We can catch people coming into the circle, rotating in. And um, I see some movement. See some movement right there. I couldn't snipe though because they went right behind a uh, structure. I sniped one of the guys. And then he ends up running through the parking lot. I'm kind of pissed I couldn't uh, take a shot on him. Yeah, they're moving. I couldn't hit that though because he was he stopped and it was just. I don't know, those were, some, those were some choke snipes. I see a guy that liked the sniper. I knocked him. Very nice. My HDR ranked up to 20. I mean, in this game, you level up your weapons so damn quickly. I love it. Anyways, we hear a sniper shot to our left. And uh, my teammate needs plates. He has nothing. I decided to go down, give him some plates. I like this looting system because it's not like one big menu. It's just a, uh, a very simple and fast looting system mechanism right. so i'm liking it move circle, man. Move and then we got to go move to circle so we decide to go on top of the building and we can fly down you can deploy your parachute anywhere so i think that's a pretty cool way oh we see two guys on the ground i think i'm screwed i think i'm about to die i end up getting him there's a guy right there and i knock him actually no i kill him i finish him so we end up getting some some uh, a bit of cash I don't pick up any plates though, so, so that's kind of a bummer. Because I need those plates. And uh, we hear a broken window. So I'm wondering what that is. I think it was him though, so. He starts shooting, he starts throwing a frag. He starts shooting, I go up. I see if I can do anything. I break this guy's armor, he's low. I decide to uh, go to this side, take out my sniper out, film a vision. I try to see where he's at, but I cannot identify his location. I decide to go in the building. Now, I use my tracker. Tracker's an insane perk. I see his red footsteps. I know he's in there. I crouch. And I kill him. I down him. I end up finishing him. And uh, it sucks, though, because he did not have any plates. So we both don't have any plates. So that's not very good, because when, when you don't have plates in this game, you are screwed. You need those. So, there's only seven other squads remaining. We're in the circle. Right now, we're moving towards the building that we want to take over. Because remember, locking down a building is very key in this game. Oh. He ends up getting knocked. Far away, I see at the sniper there. Yo, get, get the cover, dude. Get he gets the cover. He's a smart guy. I missed that shot very bad. I don't miss that one, though. And then now, uh, the, the enemies are pretty far away from us, so I decide it's it's good for me to go revive them. I think it's safe. And then uh, we go in the building, because that's the smartest thing we can do right now. We don't have any plates. I get hit by the sniper. I'm screwed. There's no plates, though, so that's not good at all. We're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, we can get fragged, but still, the doors are going to be closed, so no one can come in. No one can come in, right? The doors are closed. Think again. Someone just came in. He ends up clutching it up though. So he revives me. There's two other teams. There's two teams of two. Or one team of three. I think it's one team of three and one guy of one. So I end up getting five plates. I heal myself up. And then I decide to give some to my teammate. Because well, he probably doesn't have any. So I decide to go and drop some. The late game, end game music is uh, very stressful. Gets that blood rushing. I'll drop a plate for him. He's good. And uh, he sends me a fan quest. I hear those footsteps coming through that door. And uh, I accept his friend request because why not? Whatever. Anyways, 
They're about to come out the door in like two seconds. One, two. He gets lit up. I don't know what happened there. It cut. I'm sorry, guys. We get flashed. I thought we were going to die. My teammate gets downed. I clutch it up for the boys. And um, I end up reviving my teammate. But I think I hear the sound of the enemy getting revived. I'm not sure if that, uh, if that's uh, what it is. I end up downing the other dude. He ends up throwing a Molotov. So I thought my teammate was going to get screwed. But he ends up killing him. And we get the war zone of victory. That's what I'm talking about. First dub on the new game. We dropped 16 plus 10 is 26. So that was pretty damn good. We did well. I'm happy. It's funny because it says in memoriam of the, all the people who uh, who died throughout the uh, throughout the game fighting for the cause of Warzone. So it was uh, it was a pretty fun. It's fun. I'll be doing some more content on this in the near future. But uh, this game is fun. It's a nice change of pace because as I said before, I was playing a lot of Blackout, and this is a nice uh, it's a nice change of pace, and I really like this mode. So it's very fun. That's for sure. Now I'm going to show you off the XP that I got. You get a ton of XP for winning in Warzone. I mean, yeah, I got a good amount of kills, but still. Warzone is the way to go. I upgraded my Grau 556 oh my God, like 35 levels in one day. I mean, I think I was using double XP, but still, man. 35 levels in one day, that's, that's still kind of crazy. So, hope you guys liked it. If you did, you know what to do.